Welcome back, guys. First, we want to thank you guys for all the support. We really appreciate it. Today in the kitchen, we have Chef David, and we are going to do stew pork. We are going to do it fruit one style. So it's stew pork with a touch of cinnamon. So keep watching and let us know what you think. Yeah, guys. What are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Remember, if you don't subscribe as yet, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Yeah, so stew pork today, yeah? Good old stew pork. So I'll show you what I'm going to use right now. Don't forget the ginger. Ginger is a must in a stew pork. It's a nice and good flavor. We have some green onions, scallions, onions, bell pepper, a thyme. Guess what now? I'm going to a new recipe. Cinnamon stick. Alright. One. I'll show you what I'm going. We have some pimento seed, scotch bonnet, carrot, dry season, complete as usual. You can just how we use complete season salt, garlic powder. Butter, good old grease, butter bean. Here yeah, I put the pork without butter bean. Grease again, browning. We have some butter. So I'm going to show you step by step. So let's do this. Alright, guys, back again now. So the first part now we have a seasoning top. So we'll season up this first. So I'll show you what I'm going now. So I'll use the complete. I'm going to use two tablespoons. This is a dry season, powder season on me, rub on it. Season salt, two tablespoon. Let's have to do the first half, roughly two tablespoon. On. There we go. Just going to store in this. Alright, so back now, we have the pot now, so we have a quarter cup of oil. Boom. Fire the pot oil. Now I get the onion. Cut them up real fine. Remember this in the pan. So come here and do this, right guys? Cut the onion fine. We'll give the oil some flavor before we put the pork in it. So we're going to cut up this. We can mince them as fine as possible. We're going to get some garlic, at least four. Four pig is good enough, four of the garlic good enough. Then set that fine as well. I want it with pepper. Cut off half, at least half a pepper. Then set that as well. Get our ginger. Cut up that as well. Our cinnamon stick. About five to six pimento seed. I have a stem at time. So we have right here onions, garlic, ginger, cinnamon stick, pimento seed, um, thyme. Put in that cinnamon stick. We'll put it all over season right now. Alright, this is too pork, you know, there's some people who like fried on the pork and stuff, but. You don't have to prime the pork first. I'm going to show you the next way. You can do this. So you get these saute for at least a minute. This is a good part of it now, guys. Saute it down for a minute. This cinnamon stick. A lot of flavor. Trust me, guys. Let's try this one. Don't judge it. Try it. What about this true pork? Trust me. Alright, so this started on for a minute now we're just gonna put our, our pork in. Cheers. Alright guys, so look at this now. This is good enough, you don't want them too dark, alright? So this is good enough. Put in our pork now. Everything. Everything one time. So this looking good so far. So we're not going to pour anything on it as yet. We're just going to cover this one for at least 
for two minutes and then come back at it. Three. Ah, guys, back at it. Woo. Oh, smell this right now, guys. Trust me. Smelling good. See that? No man, no, we still have no water as yet. Just have this like this. Look at this. This color look alright so far. So we're not gonna put any more brownies as yet. But this look alright so far. What we're gonna do now we're gonna add our ketchup. Remember in a different style we are showing here. Ketchup, cup of ketchup. Put it our ketchup. Stir it down. We're gonna cover this for the next two minutes again and then come back again. Trust me guys, it's gonna be the best true pork. Let's follow the step step by step. It's about the best brown true pork you eat for your life. Okay. Alright guys, back in the pot. So remember you know, all we have here so right now is just the pork, some ketchup, a little browning, two tablespoons. Red season, two tablespoons garlic powder, two tablespoons complete. We got some onions, scallions. And we got the cinnamon stick. Remember the cinnamon stick? I'm gonna give you something new. This flavor is good, so remember what? Don't forget the cinnamon stick. Alright, for me now, this look a bit little too white is because of the ketchup, so I'm gonna use like one table, no, one teaspoon of browning. It look a bit little white for me, so. So one teaspoon. So first I put one tablespoon and I will seal it up and I'm going to one teaspoon now. And the colour still look a bit too. Okay, this look good now. Look at this now. Look at the colour now. This is the colour I want. Oh yeah, this look good now. So by the way, throw the water in it and stuff now. This colour is going to get much lighter than this. So this colour is okay. Good? Alright, so we're going to get, remember, so we still load no water as yet now, you know, so we're going to get this like two more minutes again. Then we're going to try the sauce and make sure we have enough salt and stuff on it. If not, we're going to pop it up back somewhere with some more salt and stuff like that, some more season right there. So we're going to get two more minutes, come back, test our sauce and make sure it's on point. Ooh, I smell this. Remember, so we're going to add no water now, you know, so the pork has to get own water and stuff. Look at it. Remember, so we're going to put no water now, just the pork alone, you see that? So that is the secret to it now. Some people like to spoke a bag of water, kill the flavor, kill everything. See there? Spring it on water so you don't need to throw in a bag of water in it. You see that? So what we're going to do, we're going to try the sauce now, make sure it's good with salt and stuff. Alright, for me now, we're going to add a little more salt and some more garlic powder, some more comfy. So watch this now. Tablespoon. One tablespoon complete season. Not two, one. Red season. One more. And we're gonna put some garlic powder. Actually, you don't have to measure the garlic powder because the garlic is good for you and it helps soften the meat and stuff. So it's gonna sprinkle some in it. Alright, so we're gonna test this now. As I'm saying, it's all up to your taste, or salt you want it, or that you want it, so I'm going to try this again now. That's where me want it, good right this way. So, so far we use 3 tablespoon complete, 3 tablespoon red season season salt. And properly we just put some garlic, any amount of garlic in it. Alright? You don't have to estimate the garlic, our garlic is good. So we're good so far. So what we're gonna do with this now. I'm gonna add one cup of water to this. Now we can add the water. So we're gonna use one cup. One and a half cup. <laughs> Need one more cup. So one and a half cup, it's still good. So put one and a half cup, right? Look at that man. This is where we are. See that? That's a lot of water. Not a lot. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cover this now for five minutes. Let it get a boil. Then we'll come back when I add our season on it. Let that cook down for at least 20-25 minutes and it should be good. 
So give me 10 minutes and I'll come back to you guys, alright? Alright, yeah guys, we're back now. So look at this now. This is going for like 10, 12 minutes right now. So, so far, this has cooked for like 16, 17 minutes so far. But the first half, we did 2 2 minutes to marinate and stuff like that. The sink to throw the water in it, pour the water in it, it's been like uh, 12 minutes. So, we've done 16 minutes in the cooking so far. So, it depends on how soft the pork is. Sometimes it takes up to 50 minutes to an hour. Depends on how soft the pork is. So, you can always test to know when it's finished and stuff like that. So, use a spoon. Try to cut, see so cut, you can always try to taste, right time now, so it's good. Cover it now guys, onions, bell pepper, carrot, garlic, ginger, pimento seed, scott bunny pepper. We're going to pour all this in now, alright? Everything one time. Everything, all the good stuff them going in now. We got this too, you know. But this is gonna be the last thing to go in. The beans already cooked and everything. This is what give it the body, nice little flavor and stuff. But this is gonna be the last thing, all right? Guys, so look at this now. See the water going on a little bit. So we're gonna do top it up back. And if you top it up back, you have to check. The season again because the more water you add to your pot gonna salt gonna um, dissolve so it's gonna get fresh. So I'm gonna put uh, one more cup of water. We have one cup. See that? We try this. This is burning a little bit, so we're gonna use one teaspoon, not tablespoon. Alright? So first we use tablespoon. So we use one teaspoon. We don't use an entire we don't need an entire tablespoon. Because the bit of water we just add a little while. So one. One teaspoon, not tablespoon. Teaspoon. I want to put salt. Should be good. So we've got some butter. This is one tablespoon of butter. That should do it. If you want, depends if you like ketchup or not, but if you want, you can always put some more ketchup in it. Half cup, depends how much you want. So if you like ketchup and stuff, so you can put some more. It depends on how I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I might put some more later though, yeah? Alright, so we're going to give this, come back and look here. Look at that now. We're going to give this 20 more minutes. Come back to you guys, alright? 20 minutes, this should be finishing up. And then we're going to put in our good old butter bean grease. Yes, I. Coming back. Alright, guys. Back on the pot. So we're going 10 minutes. Must we taste when I get 20 minutes? So we're going 10. So what we're going to do now, we've got some Irish potato right here. This is one actually, one Irish. But Irish potato does to give you food body. I give you sauce, a lot of body and stuff. I like to use it. Because we like to eat it, it tastes good. That's it. That's it. So we have this now. So we'll put in the Irish. Well, we'll put the Irish last because it's easy to cook. You don't want it to crush out because you want to eat it. I'm going to, I'm going to revo uh, remove this time. I'm sure you see the leaf and everything come off right so I really need this. You know what I'm saying? With those. And guys, don't follow me. Please use a spoon or something. I'm used to this. Been in the kitchen, eh? Used to burn. But yeah, used to burn, we used to burn. <laughs> All right, guys, but so we're gonna cover this down again now. This good so far. So next, ten minutes will come up to you. We have add way grease butter bean. So give me ten minutes, guys. Come back to it. No rush. Oh, that challenge, eh? So you cook pork, you can't rush it. No rush. So we need 10 minutes, so we're back after 10 minutes, so that's 20 minutes and now. So look at this now. I'm going to show you how you can take the pork to know what I want. You know what I'm saying? The skin will always be the hardest part of the pork. So you can always test that with it if you want. If you're not sure, 
Look at that, man. See that? Skin. Ready. See that? Ready. So we'll do you now? Get our flame down to low. Then we take a simmer time now. Everything we have put in. Everything. Now we throw up the water though. You don't really have to steal, but I like to throw up my water. Because the water can't really throw in there and use, but me think it's best to throw up the water. So you always throw up the water first. Show your beans, alright? Look at this now. See that? Remember I said the poor cook already now. Right? Cook. We just show you and we just test it and say cook. So it's actually cook for like 50 minutes. Some gonna take much longer, depends on where you buy a pork and how soft it is. Roughly this is um four and a half pound of pork. So you're gonna get the recipe to four and a half pound of pork. Okay. So look at that now. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna give the beans then been cook already. We're gonna give them at least five minutes to simmer down in this. Alright guys, so we're gonna five minutes. Channel. Juice done, so you know if the juice done, the pork must done. Come here. <laughs> ah, booyah, look at that. See the pips? Ready, ready, you know. See there? You have a beans, carrot, nice, tender, juicy pork. Look at that. Hmm? I'm gonna use some parsley now, this have just the finishing touch. Get a little garnish look, you know. So, don't worry about the parsley, you don't have to use the parsley, but me just use it. So this is it guys, so give me one minute, I'm going to share with some, put it in a plate and show you guys that that's, that's a wrap, that's how you cook through pork. Coming back, I'm going to dish it out and come back to you, give me a minute. See it now guys, we're going to show us a plate, and this is how it is. Brown stew, pork, try with the cinnamon stick, trust me it's a good thing. So guys, that is it, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Comment and tell me what I want with the Slimon ticket for try. Alright? Check out the next video we're coming up with a special for my brother. My brother special. And now I tell him now why yet. Have a shot. Guys, thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment about what you think about our style.